When Lehi gave what were perhaps his final words of counsel and advice to his son Jacob, he focused on the role of Jesus Christ in the plan of salvation, particularly his ability to redeem mankind from the fall of Adam and Eve. In 2 Nephi 2, 6-7, Lehi stated, Wherefore redemption cometh in and through the Holy Messiah, for he is full of grace and truth. Behold, he offereth himself a sacrifice for sin, to answer the ends of the law, unto all those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit, and unto none else can the ends of the law be answered. Wilford Woodruff added once, The Savior laid down his life as a sacrifice for sin to redeem the world. When men are called upon to repent of their sins, the call has reference to their own individual sins, not to Adam's transgressions. What is called the original sin was atoned for through the death of Christ, irrespective of any action on the part of man. I have found healing and redemption through the mercy of the Savior. It's the most precious gift I have received. I know that joy comes from sharing these glad tidings, the good news that all mankind, both the living and the dead, can repent and find healing in Jesus Christ.